Um, we're adding a new uh, section about email notifications with simple notification service in Lambda. And um, this is a little bit of a challenging section in the sense that there was a fair amount of changes in the Terraform configuration and there's some changes in the code. So it's a pretty complex change. So um, I'm going to try to first demo it, what the feature is. And then we'll look at the infrastructure through a diagram, which we'll look at shortly. And then um, we'll start poking around to see what changed from the code perspective. Okay, so the first thing to see what the behavior change is, um, this is the same app on Todo. This is the final solution. I'm logged in as a particular user. Um, I have not yet created uh, any uh, to dos yet. So I'm going to create my first to do. And um, hello world. I'm going to hit create and um, creates the to do. Nothing really changed. Behind the scenes, if I go to my email, I will have gotten a notification. Um, it says, says, hey, you've been subscribed to some topic to confirm, hit confirm. So I'm going to confirm it and I'm confirmed, right? So the first time through, um, if you create a to-do, it actually doesn't send you a notification about the to-do. It just sends you a request for notification. So then I go back to the app and then I'm going to type in hello world again right now that i've right and i go back to my email and if it all works right i will get another email saying saying uh to do created was the subject and the body was the actually actually let's take it back i actually got both uh actually yeah I, here's the one i expected I think I did this earlier when I did a test earlier, just so you know. Um, this one, this original Hello World, you should ignore, actually, because that one was a test I did earlier. I, did, I shouldn't have gotten the first Hello World because I wasn't subscribed at that point. Um, so I only get the second one, the Hello World again. So any going forward, any time I create a new to-do, it's an email me. So that's basically the feature. Again, this is just pseudo code, you know, sample code. It's not like super robust, but enough to prove out some main concepts. Okay, so let's look under the hood now and see what it took to make the, all that happen. Um, and then see if I can do this justice in this diagram. Okay, so um, there's sort of two flows. There's a first pass flow where the first time the person tries to create something once uh, things happens. And then there's a you know, subsequent pass throw um, that's basically every time afterwards. Um, and then there's actually, there's one little step is only if you're confirmed, there's one step that happens. So if you're not confirmed, that step doesn't happen. Okay, so let's go through the whole thing. For the first pass, when I first created to do, -do um, the, the endpoint, the, the ECS task itself, in the code, it actually says, goes to SNS, which is Simple Notification Service, and says, subscribe this user, basically. Okay. It then goes ahead and creates, there's an entry in a DynamoDB table, a new one called subscribers. It creates just basically an entry in that table to keep track that that person's now subscribed. Um, and then, then it creates a to-do, right? And, and essentially in terms of notification, well, let's, okay, so, so that, that's, okay, so to-do is created. Um, let's continue the flow. Now, there's a Lambda function that's already, now it's, is also now created, that's new that's listening is being triggered by that, the stream, the to-dos to -do table stream, triggers Lambda to run, which then publishes to an SNS topic saying, hey, this to-do has been created and push, pushes the body into the topic, okay? So now, it, on that first pass, nothing else really happens because that person isn't subscribed yet, hasn't confirmed their subscription, so that it pretty much dies at that point. Um, what happens then behind the scenes, the user, um, when, they, when the subscribe happens separately, there's a request sent to their email and they presumably confirm, right? So then let's go through a second pass scenario. The second pass scenario is I create the to-do because I've already subscribed because it knows I've looked in the subscribers table, it's not gonna do one and two. It's gonna go right to three. It's gonna create the to-do. It's gonna trigger a Lambda function then the function again publishes to the SNS topic. But this time the, the subscription is now active. 
it's confirmed, right? And as such, the notification email gets sent. So that's essentially the sort of the entire flow of the code uh, in visually in a diagram. Okay, so quite a bit going on. So let's now look behind the scenes to see how this all was accomplished. So let me pause for a second to get myself organized. So now we're back. Um, so what we're looking at now, a lot of the new work was done in Terraform. Um, so I wanted to kind of, and, and there was, Terraform can think I started getting very long. So I broke it into modules. So there's some big changes in the Terraform here. Um, so the main thing is there's still a main entry, but now we have two modules. One's called ECS and one is called Lambda to do is create publish. And the ECS is essentially what was the old code for creating the ECS, um, the Elastic Container Service infrastructure. And this Lambda now is all the new Lambda for this one Lambda in particular. Okay, so the, the first change, and again, I'm not gonna go through every line of this, but I'm gonna try to cover the broad strokes of what changed. Um, first of all, in the main, you will notice now um, there's, there's, the, there's the two modules right there. But um, first of all, one of the things I did was I went back in and I now create the tables through, um, through Terraform instead. It just got to be unwieldy to think of it any other way. So there's my to-dos table that was manually creating with the command line tool. Now it's here being created through uh, Terraform. Likewise, I create the subscri subscriptions table. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I also now create the topic through, this is the SNS topic. Uh, so that's now being created through a Lambda, I mean through a Terraform. Okay, let me, let me check this off my list. So do, do. Okay, now there's another change here is uh, in the modules under ECS in the main. Uh, previously, we were doing all the policy work for ECS outside of Terraform, and that got to be unclumsy too. So I brought all the all the IAM work into Terraform. So one in particular, there was a custom policy which ran, which basically gave the ECS task the ability to um, work just to run, right? And and now the one of the things that that task needs to do is that task needs to be able to do a subscribe step. That was the one of the steps in that diagram. I think it was like two or whatever it was. But basically the ECS had to be able to send a subscribe to SNS. And that's what essentially what this, ta this is now doing. So that's another change. Okay. Um, another change is actually in, um, we have to actually go into uh, the console to see it. So let me, least point it out. If I go to IAM, one thing I did not move into I, into Terraform yet, um, I don't have all the Cognito stuff. I did all the Cognito stuff basically outside of Terraform. I didn't feel like bring it all in. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, in here, in, if you remember from last couple sections ago, uh, Cognito, there was a, a customer's authenticated role. And so that's what the user gets when they log in. And previously, they only had access to the Dynamo to-dos table where they can basically work with the to-dos table. But now they actually need to work with the subscriptions table too. So that's another addition that was done manually through the console. Okay. Um, and and the basically, just as a, since I don't have it codified anywhere else, well, we'll look at this real quick. Let me hit the edit policy here so you can see it. And I'll leave it on the screen if you, JSON. Um, I'll just walk through it real quick since it's the only place it lives. Um, basically, what this says now is, <coughs> excuse me, um, this says that this, um, whoever has this role, right, can do put item or get item against the subscriptions table, right? But only if they're leading the, the primary key or the partition key is their subscriber ID. And this is the same pattern we used 
for the to-dos table. Okay, so that's really that. Okay, so the next thing is to look at the backend code just at some basic level, what's changed there. So let me close out of this, close out of this, and go into the backend code. Okay, so the main changes here, again, all this is linked in the repo, right? Um, let's go to the top here. So the main changes is there's now a new called initialize subscriptions table um, because now we have to deal with the subscriptions table. That's one major change. Um, the only other major change is under create. There's some logic here that's new. So this is the create, right? And right now, darn it. Do not want that. Um, so uh, this is this is the post command to do's, which then calls create, right? And the main thing it does it in this case it initializes the subscription table because it has to work with that table. And then we basically try to do the first step is we do a read against subscription to see if the user already has a subscription. And if they don't have a subscription, right? Then we trigger off. The SNS subscribe, we update the table, and then we continue on with the regular flow, which is creating the to-do. So that's the main changes in this code. Uh, otherwise, it's basically the same code. Okay, that's the backend code. And then, um, okay, so the next step is the Lambda business, right? So where, where this is defined is in <coughs> okay, so here's the um, module for Lambda. And again, it's fairly lengthy, right? And I don't want to go through all of it, right? Um, but the main gist is there's some security role stuff at the beginning. Um, Basically, the, most of the work here is just setting up the security for it, to be honest. There's finally, after, after all that work, there's the, oh my goodness, here. Um, here's the Lambda function itself, and here's the, this is basically, the, second, the source mapping is basically the trigger. And this is setting up the trigger for, should be, right, the to-dos stream. So this is basically the to-do stream. And then this is basically tying it back to the function itself. So now the code that's here, there's a zip file here. If you look at this, this is, if you look at the root of this folder, there's a zip file here. And that code right now, that, that code that's in that zip file is, is what it start, the Lambda function starts off as having. But that's a basically a hello world version of the Python app. It's not the actual code. I, I didn't want to work that into this flow. Uh, we're going to get that in the next section, like how we update that. So the last step of this whole activity is to manually update, close out of this, close out of this, close out everything. Go back into here. We're gonna manually update Let me get to it. Go back to the console. We're gonna find the Lambda function after we built it through Terraform. We go into the Lambda function manually, and we'll see it here. And now I've already updated it, but if you were to come in here, you come into here, you would see this being a hello world version of Lambda function would not be the final version. And you're gonna copy and paste into here and then just hit save. And the Lambda function, let's look at it more carefully. Um, again, that's, this is linked in the repo or in the, store, in the backing story here. Um, the Lambda function is pretty straightforward. It's just a basic Python uh, script that basically um, picks up an environment variable for the topic, right? And after that, it basically publishes, there's a publish step here. It basically, you know, reads out some variable values out of the event and then does a publish to the SNS topic. So that's all it does. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Um, yeah. Okay, so 
lots of bits and parts there. Um, and again, I'm not really sure how well you're going to build a piece it together yourself, but at least I wanted to point out where all the pieces were and how they kind of work together. Thank you.